Okay. Hello, world. We are the Brother Floggers. We're here to help you know what to watch and who to watch it with so that you can know if a movie is groovy for you. Or lots of movies are groovy, like today. Movies are groovies for you, <laughs> Groovies. <laughs> Yeah, so today is our special um, beginning of the May month um, episode where we're going to look at the upcoming movies for this month and let you know which ones look like they might be an interesting watch. Uh, but we don't know because we haven't seen them, so if it's a bad movie, it's not our fault. That's <laughs> right. You can watch it with yeah, a green Just watch it and, and if it's bad, yeah. It, let it, us know in the comments below. Yeah, down there on the <laughs> if bottom. If we did a terrible job. <laughs> so this movie, or this month had some more options than last month. Last month was There's, very Sahara Deserty. I think they're, I think they're <laughs> the, kind of figuring out, like, companies are figuring out what movies to release, which ones they can get away with, what, what yeah. to put on video on demand. This one's going to be mediocre in the Yeah, so we'll just put it. this out. <laughs> yeah, but there actually were a few that looked like they might be pretty There's interesting. Good ones. So, we'll go by categories here. The very first category is the date movie category. And I think we were unanimously agreed, all I think so. two of us. <laughs> all two of us agree. Um, that, well, there weren't a lot of great um, date, date type movies, type movies um, but we chose The Wrong Missy, which is a Netflix original starring David Spade. Um, and it looks like it might be pretty funny. It looks, the <laughs> trailer was really funny. And uh, Lauren Lepkus, who is also in this, she's like got this really quirky style <laughs> she, she looks she, hilarious she's pretty funny for me i don't know if i've really seen her name <laughs> i don't know but this her really and, funny. Yeah. this i think will have to be a vid angel uh watch for us because uh, filter it looks like it might, it have might be some, pretty some more dirty, mature content maybe. yeah and we're not very mature so we so can't we watch, watch that <laughs> only kid level for us yeah so. <laughs> it's not good for my three-year-old i can't watch it <laughs> but the the premise of this is basically he meets this really great girl and so he sends her a text, but she has the same name as a crazy girl went on a blind date with. So he sends a text to the wrong person to meet him in Hawaii. And her name's Missy. And her name's Missy. Didn't that out. Yeah. <laughs> and so it ends up being the wrong person that he wanted to spend his time with. Yeah. So it looks so pretty, pretty funny Pretty clever premise. Um, premise, yeah. So. So the next category is the family movie. And I think there's only pretty much one pick. It was the new Scooby-Doo <laughs> yeah. movie. There's, I don't really see any other like cartoons or family type movies. But this one actually looks really, really good. It's got some great stars. It's got Zach, it's got Zach, Zach, Zach Afron. Afron. <laughs> Zach Afron. Zach Afron. <laughs> Zach Afron. <laughs> uh, Mark Wahlberg, uh, Amanda Seyfried, <laughs> Simon Cowell. Cowell. <laughs> it's got people in That's it that you recognize. <laughs> it's entertaining yeah. it looks really cute kind of a backstory on scooby-doo so that'd be cool yeah i'm not a huge fan of scooby-doo but it looks like it might actually be pretty entertaining yeah, it looks pretty it's fun a, it'd, it'd be, be a decent one kids will like it yeah they'll and like it's it. pg so it's and if they don't they probably enough. don't have soul that's right <laughs> soulless children soulless watching the movie why is that you have soulless nothing? children the, the guy nerd. flick <laughs> the guy flick is a perfect soulless child because it's we, we decided to choose well you chose, i chose yeah i decided there wasn't any great like action flicks, and so I chose The Wretched, which is a horror movie, but it looks very interesting. It's about like a, or I guess it's like a witch that possesses his neighbor, and this kid is dealing with. It. I don't know. Just watch the trailer. It looks, it looks, it looks interesting. It looks yeah, pretty it's, spooky. It's and got creepy kids. It's got a, a witch possession. It's got like creepy kids, creepy girls. Total like yeah. build up scary scenes. It looks like like it looks like a pretty, yeah. It looks pretty good intense horror film. So and it's probably so intense that girls won't be able to handle it. That's right. They'll just Maybe. cry. <laughs> And the guy will cry secretly. Yeah, so that's why you have to watch it with guys. Is because you'll probably cry, and so you don't want the girls to see that. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> so, and I actually chose for this one, Walk Away Joe. And uh, Walk Away Joe stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And it's basically about uh, a really bad dad. <laughs> and this kid Terrible dad. <laughs> who meets another guy who uh, is more of a better role model. But it's about uh, billiards, about pool. This kid is a, uh, his dad's kind of a pool shark bum guy and this kid becomes a pool shark and they actually kind of end up going to a tournament and play against each other. So it actually looks pretty good, pretty entertaining. And if you like pool, billiards, like I do, I think it actually looks pretty cool. It's a cool kind of pool movie. I don't do know. they pool call it shark, pool sharks because the pool is full of water and sharks are in the water? I've never thought about that. I just that. thought it about that right be. now. I don't know. I don't know. A no. pool shark. I wonder if it is. I don't know. I don't know. 
So yeah, that I, that one does look pretty interesting. Um, it's more of a drama. It'll be a little bit slower, yeah. but uh, and guys aren't dramatic, so that's why I chose the wretched bit. You know. Yeah. <laughs> For the girl flick, um, I chose something different. I chose the high note, which uh, oh. is is it's got the girl from Fifty Shades, Dakota Johnson, and she's in this, and she uh, it's about this. She's a assistant to a very famous singer, and she decides to sing new songs and. They don't Almost. want her to because she's an old singer. And anyway, it just yeah, it, lots of good music. It looks like and ice cubes in it, so it's gonna be super awesome or cool or cool. It'd be cool. Yeah, chill. but you can't teach an old singer a new song, so I don't know. I don't know that. how that will work. Yeah, but this looks like a good kind of girl power type of movie. Yeah, so I it kind of gave me like flick. a Devil Wears Prada type. Um, yeah, girl, maybe. Of. And I ended up choosing the Valley Girl, which is more of your classic like sappy rom com type. Um, well, it's it's like or, a musical. Well, it's a musical. It's a musical. Never mind. Yeah, but, delete everything. Think of think of a different. I'm thinking of a different one. One of the um, other girl movies yeah. you watched. <laughs> so this one actually it gave me the like hairspray vibes. Totally. Like hairspray when I vibe. hairspray my hair in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, it's like I'm watching the set. <laughs> no, like the hairspray movie. Uh, it's kind of an '80s musical, '80s style. Yeah, music, music video. And, and <laughs> it's got <laughs> Jessica Roth, who is from Happy Death Day. Yes. And so she's great. She's really fun. And Josh. And Josh White House. Josh White House. From uh, The Night Before Christmas, Netflix <laughs> original. Like Check out our video on that one. <laughs> uh, watch our review on that. That's a terrible movie. <laughs> um, but he's got the exact same hairdo, and it's a terrible hairdo. It's <laughs> yeah. like weird. That's why I want to watch it. I want to see his hair again. <laughs> but it, it doesn't look amazing, but you know. It looks it, fun. It looks like it it'll looks be like fun. It's got great 80s music and dancing and girls and guys kissing. Yeah, so, so a perfect chick flick. Perfect chick flick. <laughs> probably predictable. <laughs> Highly, I'm guessing. Except they're probably throwing a 90s song just to throw it off. Yeah. <laughs> so Finally, the last one is our, because um, we did the guy flick, girl flick. This is our gender neutral flick. Just, <laughs> this, is the, this is the must watch. Um, the, I, we chose, well, we both chose um, yeah. Fantasy Island, which looks, it's kind of a, a scary movie. Yeah, it's Again, kind of a, more of a thriller, thriller, I guess. Yeah, more than um, horror, I think. Yeah. Um, but it looks but pretty it looks intense. interesting. It's it's not Fantasy Island, the TV series. Let's no, throw that out there. <laughs> it's a little bit different. <laughs> it's I basically <laughs> these people go to this island. I'm not sure how they select them, but then these these fantasies or these dreams that they wish could have happened starts happening. But they're like the more of a things like I wish this would have happened to this person, like, and this then that person's bullied, there. They're getting bullied tortured. me, and we're going to torture them. Yeah, so it looks pretty. So, but it looks it looks like it might be an interesting thriller, and I'm guessing there's a twist. Yeah, there's got to be. If there's not, then I'll probably be disappointed. Then. Yeah, but it looks it just looks interesting. It just looks like a very uh, intense thriller kind of movie that looks like it has a good, interesting, unique story. And teaches a good moral lesson. Yeah, maybe. Kill the people you hate. <laughs> uh, wait. That's wait, good. yeah. Unless <laughs> they kill you first. I know. <laughs> then you can't kill them. Let's get into a real fast. Anyway. So, so that's our list for this month. Um, I hope you try watching some of the movies and let us know in the comments below uh, which ones you liked and which ones you don't like and if you have any recommendations that you would watch for this month as well. We will see you guys in the next movie. Or maybe not because we can't go to theaters. So we'll have to <laughs> zoom, We're stuck. Zoom maybe in maybe the movie. Not. We We're going to be stuck in our house forever. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha